Hi everyone, welcome to day nine of Vlogmas. I've been having so much fun doing Vlogmas for you guys, with you guys. We have Blair Gray here, so, special guest. We obviously have my husband, nice Nikolai. Nice to see you, nice to see you guys. <laughs> what I thought I'll do today is do a traditional like uh, Persian chicken kebab dish. And I got like uh, chicken breast, yogurt, turmeric, um, saffron. That's, I love saffron, salt, olive oil, potatoes, onion. I just threw in mushrooms because I love mushrooms. So These basically- washed, right? Yeah, everything's washed. I already asked you that, but I forgot. It, it's, <laughs> it's okay. It's, these days, everything is okay. I already started the rice over here for you guys. So let me just show this. Um, who else puts, um, like, do you guys do it in your family? Yeah, to drain like the water. So who else put a towel or paper towels to help like soak up the water? So I already put the rice in the rice cooker. Look how good that looks. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of saffron on it. So this I got from the Persian store or from my mom's house. It could have been either one. This is Alhu Bara. This is the brand, Fawn brand, extra clean, super basmati rice. And it's from the US. So. I think actually I got this from my mom's house because she has bags and bags of rice. So it's a really good rice. It tastes great. Blair, you like it, right? It's very good. And basically what I did, I put three cups of the rice, wash it in lukewarm water so that all the starch comes out. I usually put three and a half cups of water. If I feel it's too low, I'll add a little bit, just eyeball it. And then at the end, I thought it was like there was too much moisture in the rice. So I put the towel on top and just let it sit up there. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of saffron and put it around there because I just love the saffron in the rice. So let's go. Without further Start ado. Cooking. Perfect. Okay, well, I'm going to the potatoes. Just, no, 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 don't peel them. Do it with the skin. Because you know what I thought I'll do with the potatoes sure. is we'll just do like, you know, those circle fries that we always do. Can I peel one? I have a little bit. You can peel whatever you want. Oh, but you know, the rest of them, I mean, if you want to peel all of them, you can, but I just thought we should do like the fries that we do, that Mama used to do for us in circles. You like those, I'm right? I'm of peeling. Let's keep them not peeled. Okay, so we're just gonna, so basically, can you just do me a favor? Can you just like put these in eating yeah, circles? You. you do that. In the meantime, you guys, I'm going what to chop up. What are you cooking? So I'm cooking like um, yogurt. No, I'm gonna cook the onion. I told you this specifically. Okay. Well, dice the onion. Dice like at least, yeah, dice it in small little dices. So basically, I'm cooking yogurt marinated um, chicken kebab. It's really easy. You marinate it in, this is the type of yogurt that I got. To soften up the chicken, you actually marinate it in uh, yogurt. I remember doing this when I was a little kid. Let me know out there what you guys think. Now, the chicken kebab, usually you put it on skewers, but I, I thought it had skewers and I didn't. I don't believe kebab. I'm doing the best really of jobs. I'll fix it, don't worry, um, sweetie. It, my hands smell like onions now. No, of course you're gonna smell like onions, sweetheart. So basically, you and then this, we're gonna marinate this for a good two hours. You can even marinate it overnight if you like. I am going to marinate it for a little bit less than two hours just because we're doing this video. But the longer you marinate, obviously the better it is. They're trying to help me with dicing these onions. I don't think they went too well. She did um, cut up the potatoes really well. I think I'm just gonna dice them myself. I tried wearing sunglasses one time so I wouldn't cry. That doesn't help. It doesn't it's work. It's airborne. <laughs> exactly, it didn't help. I wasn't using my brain cells. I'm going to chop this into little, little, little pieces. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this to the yogurt with some saffron. Oh, let me heat up and boil the water for the saffron. So I'll show you guys how I do my saffron. My mom taught me like, this is a saffron. That much was like about $10. Can you believe it? It's too expensive. It's very expensive. But again, that's why you don't need a lot of it. So I'm gonna use some of it for a marinade and then I'm gonna use some of it for the rice. So basically I have that little dish. I think my mom gave that to me and I put some like hot water, um, mix it in and then you just basically put the liquid on top. I have the onions with the yogurt. I'm gonna put some olive oil on it. Be generous with the olive oil. I love olive oil. We're gonna put some lemon juice, a little bit more lemon juice. I mix the boiling water with saffron. Be careful, because it goes over everything and it can actually stain stuff. So I'm gonna use half of this for the chicken. So now that the rice is done, you just take the saffron, you go like that. Some of it didn't get mixed in. And you toss it in together. Isn't that lovely? And there's your saffron rice. I forgot the turmeric. We're gonna go ahead and put a little turmeric. A little goes a long way. We got the turmeric. We're gonna put a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. So we're gonna let this marinate for a little bit. It's gonna be the juiciest chicken you've ever had, Nick. All right, you guys. So while the chicken is marinating in the fridge, I want to tell you guys 
I have been teaming up with Teamy for a few months now and I've been doing the detox program. And I just realized that today is, look at that, day eight of my 30 day detox. So I did the skinny tea this morning, which is this one. Just put a tablespoon in there. You can do it on the go. I've just literally been doing it in my Teamy cup. I love it. And then if you take the colon one, every other night and tonight's my colon night and i love this calendar because it just makes it so easy for you so i'm going to go ahead and check off colon and this is what we're going to do the colon one comes in little bags like this like a basic tea bag so you just grab that i've heated my water already throw it in there really simple you don't really need to use the mesh with this but um the mesh is used for the skinny one because that comes out like this right so i don't need to use the mesh for this basically it's really simple i just fill it up all the way and that's it. So my colon is checked off. I'm on day eight of 30. Honestly, I've been doing this for a few months, you guys. I feel so good. See how easy that is? And you can take this to the bedroom, to the living room, if you're going for a drive, whatever you wanna do. It's really improved my overall health. It's improved my gut health. I feel so much better. I don't have bloating anymore. I don't know if you guys have seen in my recent stories, I look absolutely great. My bloatation is down. I've been working out in conjunction with my detox tea and I just feel so good. So make sure you guys, if you want to get the Teamy tea and I suggest it so much, it's so good. And also my skin's gotten better too. I love everything about it. It just has detoxed me from head to toe. The Teamy tea actually tastes so good, both the skinny and the detox. But once in a while, I'll add a little bit of lemon juice to it just for a little extra flavor. You don't have to, you can add honey, you can add anything that you like. For me, I go to for lemons. I love them so much. Let me take a quick sip. Oh, that is just so good and so refreshing. It tastes so great. And you guys, right now, Teamy is having a huge Christmas sale. And if you wanna use my code, and you should, to go get your Teamy tea to looking fabulous for the holidays and the new year, I have a code, Dr. Nina 30 for 30% off. It's gonna be in the link in my bio below. And I stick to my regimen and I have not felt better. I'm telling you guys, my skin's glowing. I'm de -bloated. I just feel good really from head to toe. And um, anyway, so make sure you guys go get your Teamy Dr. Nina 30 for 30% off. And now back to the chicken recipe. Okay, so while the chicken is still marinating, I'm gonna go ahead and cook the potatoes. This is grandma, mama's style. She would heat up the pan with some oil and then just literally put them in there one by one, maybe even put a little saffron on it later. It is delicious is what I learned in my Persian household. Olive oil, here we go. So I'm gonna cook the potatoes first and then eventually just, the, uh, you know, the chicken will be last, the rice is almost done. Now you can do this like the chicken kebab, you can do it over an open flame, you can do it in a barbecue. It's really cold outside right now, so I'm choosing to do it on the pan. And this has been marinating for a while. I look how good it looks. Nick was saying this actually looks like it's mustard, but it's not. It's yogurt with the turmeric, uh, saffron, and onions, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I actually cut the chicken in half because the chicken- Did you add lemon juice? I did, oh, I'm so sorry. Lemon juice and olive oil, yes, thank you Nick. And I oh. actually added the, oh my God. Well, you don't want to add it when it's so like thin. But so I added it, um, what do I think? Oh yeah, so I cut the chicken in half because the pieces were so big. And then they would never cook. So, hi, oh why gosh. am I doing that? I'm telling you, this oven, the stove top and the oven itself, both of them have like a mind of their own. Okay, in the meantime, you guys, we have, the potatoes are still going strong. Look how amazing they look. And a trick to get all the oil off is you put it on paper towels at the very end. My grandmother used to do this. And the very end, we're gonna put a little saffron on it. Sounds good? Look at how good these are looking, Nick. Are you gonna eat dinner here with us? I'll have a few bites, aka finish everything. Good for you, you <laughs> should. We have so much food. We love to share in this household. Okay, so this is this. All right, beautiful. That's almost done there. I'm gonna add a few more potatoes right here. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And then give me tips for Persian cooking. I was, for the most part, my 
um, my young life, I wish that I would have learned a little bit more from my mom, my grandmother with cooking, but I was so busy always studying. So it's like whenever I want to help them or I want to learn from them, they're like, no, no, Nina, we'll cook the food. You go and study. It's important for you. So I do appreciate that, their sacrifice, you know. And then they'll be sold. But I just wish I would have learned a little bit more. So give me tips, you guys, you know. I know how to do some things, but give me a couple of tips on what you guys think. A little bit more olive oil. Chicken's doing great. We're going to cook a couple of minutes on each side and always to your desired, like, you know, done, doneness. Am I speaking ESL now? To what you desire. Just and cook it till it's cooked. Cook it till it's cooked, you guys. You can tell. You can tell when it's not cooked. You can tell when it's cooked. Okay, in the meantime, let me clean up my stuff here a little bit. So with the potatoes, I remember my mom and my grandmother at the very end, they would put the potatoes on very low temperature, like the, um, you know what I mean. And then put a lid on it so that they would cook like thoroughly. I think they're done now. So I'm going to go ahead and splash a little bit of saffron all over it. I'm going to put the lid. That's it. Okay. A little bit more. Those are going to be delicious. All right, you guys, so this is the finished result. Um, basmati saffron rice, yogurt marinated with turmeric, saffron, lemon juice, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, mm -hmm. My grandmother's potatoes that were uh, basically um, cooked in olive oil with saffron on them and non-traditional mushrooms. I just love mushrooms. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh my God. It's so delicious. Now, I'm not eating from this plate because this is for everybody, but I hope, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know if you guys want to see more of these videos. I love you guys so much. Hi to all my lovers and all my supporters out there. Just so much love. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. And also, I did a TikTok with this, so make sure you go watch it at Chef Nina Gray. I love you guys so much, and keep vlogmasing.